I'm Pitchy Perfect and welcome back to Planet Zoo. I know it's been a little while and I'm sorry about that. It's just been it's been a really busy time. It's coming up to the end of term and I have got three very important projects all due in with like a few weeks and oh oh my god it's just it's just so stressful and I haven't found the time so I'm sorry but um no, I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with that. I, we're just gonna we're gonna get started. We're gonna play some Planet Zoo, and I've had a couple of ideas. So we're gonna start a zoo in franchise mode, and we're gonna see what we can do. I tell you what, I do like the intro. It gets me all excited. I like the music, and I noticed this earlier. This is so cute. So because I don't have very many friends on Steam because it shows everyone in your area so when it opens up look it's me and Skystorm just standing in the UK it's so cute I love the little avatars so yay hi <laughs> right shall we start a zoo because that's really what you guys are here for so we're gonna pop into franchise mode and as you can see we are starting a new zoo because the last time I played we were in the beta and that save isn't here anymore so let's start a new zoo, select a biome. So now I've got all the choices. Oh this, I, I haven't thought about this, I am not the best at making decisions. So last time we had the grasslands and that was all we had so we can have a desert, we can have tropical. I suppose it depends really on what kind of animals we're going to have because um it will make it easier or more difficult depending on what kind of temperatures we need i like the idea of having a tropical themed zoo oh, you know what i'm gonna go for that i'm gonna go for tropical because i like the idea of that so all right we need to select a continent so i guess it's like uh maybe south america or more parts of africa so I'm thinking like in terms of like tropical rainforest it's kind of what I'm thinking. I think we go South America and that's a little bit different to what we started with last time. So we'll call it Picture Perfect Tropical? No! Uh, picture Perfect perfect Tropical? Tropical Zoo? Picture Trop? Ah, uh, I'm so bad at coming up with names. We'll call it Pick Perfect Trop I don't know where the zeros came from. Tropical. Pick perfect tropical. If I can get zoo in, no, no, I can't. Pick perfect tropical. Okay, that sounds like it on Trista. Pick perfect tropical. Uh, well, we're going for it guys, so Yay. <laughs> Oh, and I got the achievement because oh, I suppose technically this is my first time opening a franchise. So the first thing we're going to do is pause the game and take a sip of water apparently. I'm being good. I do I do actually have a glass of wine with me left over from, from dinner but I'm going to stick for the water for now. Right so uh, this is nice. I think oh, I've just thrown us into a tree. I think we could do something really cool i mean it doesn't look tropical at the moment but we could do something uh pretty interesting okay so i have an idea for what i want to do at the entrance um i realize i actually haven't put anything down yet uh that doesn't match i suppose it doesn't really matter so yeah maybe seven right i'm just gonna have this come straight up now right so I think it's going to take me a little while before I get something that looks like pretty, I guess. So I'm going to lay down some rough ideas and talk you through what I'm thinking. I, am, I have played around with a couple of these ideas in the sandbox, so fingers crossed they work. I mean, in theory, this should go very smoothly, but... You know, once you start recording, <laughs> sometimes things just go very, very badly wrong. So yeah, I'm going to tell you what my ideas are. And then we 
Well, maybe I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll work on it offline just to make it look pretty. So, I played some of the career tutorials and what they had in their panda zoo. Oh my god, guys, the baby pandas are oh, freaking adorable. They, they might be the cutest thing in the game. I know I love the lions, but oh my god, <laughs> baby pandas might actually be the cutest thing. Anyway, what they have in the uh, panda zoo is when you walk in, the guest pathway as you come in is over a small sort of, well, not, maybe not really a lake, but like a small body of water. And I thought, you know what? That looks really cool. So I, I'm being honest, this isn't it? like technically my idea. Um, but I was like, you know what? That looks really cool. I really like the idea of it. Oh, that's already gone terribly wrong. It's gone too, it's gone too low. I'll just make this a bit smaller. So yeah, I want to do that. I want to play around and get, I don't, like it's probably, it's probably not going to be the prettiest, but I'm going to put the terrain down and we're going to see if we can make like a little pond that we can put a bridge over that the guests can walk over, I think. I think that will look cool. Um, like I said, I've done like a little bit of a test of this in Sandbox just to make sure it works okay. Um, but I really don't like how this is flattening. Um, and that concerns me a little bit. Let me try and smooth that off. Um, yeah, I did a little bit of a test and it worked okay, so... Fingers crossed. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. I think that's a really, really cool idea. Like, it sets a really good impression. Like, the first thing you see is she walk over this bridge over a little bit of water. And like I said, it might take a little while to make it look pretty, but I think we can do something cool. This is going to need a bit of smoothing. I feel, I feel like it might be a bit deep. Um, let me just come out a little bit more here. Just a little bit this way. Uh, so you might be wondering what happened to the rest of my my beta playthrough. If you've watched the the previous two episodes, and um, basically what happened is I had to. I've forgotten the thing. What did they have to do? <laughs> I'm so computer illiterate. I had to not like reboot my PC, but basically I had to do a fresh install of the operating system, which meant that I had to back up all my files. We could definitely make that a bit bigger, couldn't we? Yeah, yes we can, picture. Uh, so I had to back up all my files and I did do that, but something's happened and I don't quite have everything that I need to finish off those um, those episodes, which is really frustrating because I had quite a lot of fun in the beta, although you're probably not missing very much. And I think I've come up with some some really cool ideas for, for this sort of playthrough. So hopefully that's not too much of a disappointment for you guys. Like, I don't wanna mess with this too much because I don't wanna like waste time just doing something you know like that is potentially boring and not much fun for you guys to watch that i'm actually i'm okay with that so what i am gonna do though is i don't like the terrain that it paints so i'm gonna put a sort of sand paint over this just because i think the lighter colour is just a bit nicer personally and then we'll see fingers crossed guys fingers crossed we'll see if we can get the bridge over right so let's pop the water back in yeah you know what it needs some smoothing around here i'm not 100 percent on the shape of it but actually 
that's okay at the moment. That's that's going okay. So let's see if we can get a bridge over. Okay. Oh, I knew it. I knew. I knew it was going to do that. Do you know how I know it was going to do that? Do you? Because that is what it did to me when I did my um, test in the sandbox. So what I ended up doing was just pushing the ground down a bit here, smoothing it off and then like pushing it down a bit. And it kind of just sort of worked. So, oh yeah, I think, I think, I think. I, <laughs> Yeah, I got comments saying that I have such a dirty mind, but this, I just, I can't look at this. And like, maybe when it's flat, it's harder to see, but I'm just gonna do this just to make my point. But how is that not phallic? I'm sorry, it just is. And every time I see it, that is what I think. And I'm just giggling in the back of my head, so. I'm sorry if I randomly start giggling every time I put over a path, but that is what's going on. Okay, yeah, you know what? That's actually worked okay. And it's it kind of goes straight over the water. That's oh, okay, there's some grass coming through there. We'll have to take that. Uh we just have to do that with a paintbrush. We should be able to get rid of it, shouldn't we? We just do short grass instead of long. There we go. Cool. Um, that's actually worked out a little bit better than in my test because that's quite flat. You know what? I'm actually really liking that. I'm quite happy with how that's turned out. So it looks a bit plain. Like it's not ideal, but we can play around. We can put some, I don't know, we'll put some decorations and things, a couple of bushes. There's some really cute lily pads although these are really really fiddly like i played around with one of these in the sandbox for ages they're not straight for whatever reason and getting them getting them right is really really fiddly can you like hear how much i'm concentrating <laughs> it's just oh that actually that might be okay what do you think oh it's not oh uh, yeah no 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 <laughs> um can i just edit it oh that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. And I, oh, you know, I said to you guys, I'm not, I'm not going to spend loads of time faffing around with decorations. But I just want to, just want to get like one thing in just to show what this could potentially look like. Let's, let's just say that that's it. I mean, I don't know if it is, but let's just... Actually... We might... We might have done it, guys. Um... I don't know how much I even like it after all that. But can you kind of see where I'm going with this? I think that potentially we could do something kind of sort of cool with this, don't you think? Well, I think so. I don't know, let me know in the comments, let me know what you think. Um, I think probably what I'm going to end up doing, which I said earlier I'm sure, is just do a lot of decorating offline. I mean, I can maybe time lapse it, I'm not sure. But I feel like a lot of it's going to be quite fiddly and that's not really the most entertaining thing. So this is my first idea. I've got my walkway over the water and I know this is a really small thing, but I actually really like how that looks. I think, I mean, well, I mean, I'm obviously it's not finished, but there really is the pen. I swear, I swear I'm just drinking water. There really is potential for there to be something kind of cool. Don't you think? 
anything, guys. Yeah, I just, I really like that. I'm, I'm like tooting my own horn. I don't care. I think that's, that's really cool. Right, next idea, which is probably also going to be really fiddly. I just want to take off a tiny bit of that path. Perfect. Uh, which I think is also going to be really, really fiddly. Is I want to have. <laughs> This should probably be the same length. I want to have a sort of... Oh, I hate that it, it joins on. I don't want to do that. I want something over here-ish. Maybe. I hope that's in the right spot. I would like to do a sort of... So when that's not going straight. I'm going to take off angle snap. That's straight. I think. Maybe, kind of, sort of, ish. No. You know what? Paths in this game. Really freaking fiddly. Yeah, right. I want to do a sort of semi-circle kind of ish shape. And just so I can have, like, an entrance area. Well, mm, I think I've gone too sharp on that corner. Oh. Yeah, lots of... Oh, you know... It's, please tell me that it's not just me and that, you know, paths are just really, really fiddly in this game. Because I feel, I feel like it's just me and that's really frustrating. How bad does that look? need to get out of pass to be able to actually have a look. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> that's not ideal. Um... <laughs> you know what? The, I feel like this is going to be really frustrating. Let me just play around with this and I will get back to you when I've got kind of sort of ish what I want. Alright guys, I... <laughs> I am done. <laughs> It is not much better, but it is a little bit smaller and I was thinking I don't want it to get too large because then people are going to be walking around for ages and I'm going to have like a lot of the, the stuff obviously is going to be down this way and I don't want people to get fed up before they get there. But anyway, <laughs> should I just say it? Okay, look, this is why I'm giggling. I think it's all pretty obvious and oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> Uh, right, <clears throat> moving on from that, although it is very much in your face, I appreciate. So we're going to have, we've got this little staging area, so we walk across the water, and then this, what I'm thinking, although it is probably still a little bit big, but I just wanted to have, like, a welcome sign and like, a little, so welcome area so i'm thinking we have like the information booth over here maybe we'll have some toilets set up and then sort of as you go around you would have like the shops and things we'll have like a few food shops and a few gift shops and then in the middle will be like what i'm well, what i'm envisioning is some kind of floral rockery display and then we can use the letters and make the zoo name. It might my zoo name's really long, so I might just I might just say zoo <laughs> or welcome or or whatever. But some kind of entrance sign. And then what I'm going to do is have like the exhibits and everything come around this way. So it would be nice to have like a little walkway, a welcome area, and get like the main things. The main thing's going was really what I was thinking. Now I want to get a straight path coming off here. There we go. I should have done that sooner because that helps, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it might still be a little bit big because I'm just thinking I don't want my guests walking too far. Well, we'll see sort of how it goes. I've got to, I've got to be conscious because even though I want to do the decorations and stuff, obviously. We need to start making money and I need to be cautious of money. I don't want to end up getting loans and being in debt and actually, like, not being able to play the game. 
So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put down a couple of the exhibits. So doo -doo -doo -doo, I need to remember where to find them. Yeah, small animal exhibits. So I actually, ooh, they're pricier than I thought they were going to be. So I'm going to put a couple of those just here off to the side. Now, I actually have an interesting idea for displaying the exhibits. I think I think we're probably going to put two. Am I, am I okay with them being in a group? No, I probably don't. I probably want them separate just in case. Um, yes, so. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why do you do that? I don't want a path there and I don't want one there I want to set my own path there we go so let me set up a little bit of a path for that so yeah what I was saying was I do actually have what well what I think is a pretty cool idea for how we're going to hmm, that just looks really bad do I want a pathway between them I suppose I probably kind of do. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to look, but... No, we're going to have to have this go down a bit. The problem with that is it just looks really... Yes, let's do that. Let's have one and then you can go down and see each of them. Yeah, that will work. It's not the prettiest, but it will do for now. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, paths. Oh my god, paths really get on my nerves. So, yeah, what I'm thinking is, um, that looks really bad, doesn't it? Right, why, why I play around and just put some signs and stuff? Why I just like, uh, I, <laughs> I know I'm a little bit all over the place. It's because I've left this to quite, quite late in the evening, which is when my free time is. And um, I'm obviously a little bit tired and a little bit all over the place. So for that, I apologize. So I'm going to play around and put a few, few things about. Wow, that went awfully, awfully bright. So, yes, what I was saying was, I had an idea for what I think is a really cool way to display the exhibits, which basically is going to involve creating a cave and then having people walk into this like dark cave. And then within it, the exhibits will be dotted about, maybe four or five of them. And I just think that that would look really cool. And I've done a little bit of R&D and I have played around and I think I can do something actually kind of cool, which considering like, you know, building and decorating, not really my forte in the game. I'm quite impressed. So I did post my very first design on Twitter. So... Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll put down some benches and some bins and stuff. Uh, so what I was saying was I posted my design on Twitter. So if you're following me on Twitter, you probably would have seen it. And I think the response from you guys was pretty cool. You seemed to appreciate it. And you know what? I was really pleased with it. So I think we could do something pretty, pretty cool. I hope you move that just a little bit. So yeah, if you... Uh, we'll just leave it at that because, you know, we can spruce it up later. So, really... Like, <laughs> I feel like that looks really lame. But you know what, it's a starting zoo, it's fine. So, I feel like I've only half said what I was going to say. I was going to say that... I actually, I know, like, videos and things haven't been very regular, which you guys have been amazingly supportive and understanding of. What can I do Why I talk to you guys? I could put in some staff buildings. We're going to have the staff area here, similar to how I did it before. I'm going to put all the buildings together and then I'm going to hide them with a hedgerow so it's not too horrible for people to look at. So yeah, let's put in some staff things. So yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I just, I'm all over the place. So yeah, I know videos and things haven't been terribly recent and you guys like I said have been amazingly supportive which I very much appreciate so what I'm trying to say is I know that videos have not been very regular I, I'm doing the best I can but I do keep you guys updated or I try to keep you guys updated 
So the best way to sort of figure out what's happening is to follow me on Twitter because although there's not been a lot of videos lately, I do I do post and keep you guys updated when I can. I mean, I'll admit there have been a lot of um, like I mean I do post pretty regularly, but at the moment it is more like running updates and <laughs> life things than it is channel updates. But you know what? If you're interested in knowing on, if you're interested in knowing a bit more about what is going on with me, or if you actually want to know when videos might be coming for the channel, then yeah, go check out my Twitter. It's at PitPerfectYT. The link will be in the description and you will uh, be able to find out a bit more what is going on. Hopefully. It's that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is that ramble over. Anyway, ugh, that was such a disaster. I apologise. <clears throat> uh, I've just realised I have not left any room for the hedge with this building, so I'm going to have to... It's also... It's also not terribly straight, which, I'm not gonna lie, does actually bother me a little bit. I kind of wanted, yeah, yeah. That's oh, why? See, the thing is, is it's a lot more difficult to do this and like chat at the same time. Like I, I would love to be quite OCD and get things. That dead straight because it does bother me and I'm sure it bothers some of you guys but at the same time it's really fiddly and it's very 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 difficult to do uh, like when you're talking so yeah we'll just I kind of have, I don't want the path I don't think I'm gonna have a choice it's really irritating right I have got a Vet surgery, a quarantine, a small research centre, a small staff room. I do need the trade centre. That is for sure, that would come in really handy picture, well done. Can't really have any animals without that, can we guys? Uh, I don't know, I, I actually can't tell if I am all over the place and I'm a complete mess and I should just stop and restart and like completely scrap this recording. Or if I'm being really entertaining, I I honestly don't even know anymore. So I guess I guess we'll find out when I go to edit and I decide whether <laughs> something you guys are actually gonna enjoy or if I should just shut up and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's get my hedge in. Where where Barriers, barriers. Can you tell? It's been a little while since I've played this. Can you? Oh my. Right, so we'll have down the sides here. Now I could do this straight or I could mm. I could follow like the line a little bit. Can I do that? Can we make it like a little bit more interesting so it's not not perfectly straight. So that sound like a plan. I hope I just realised I don't actually have to have like one meter. <laughs> uh, I probably do now. Um, I hope there aren't any more buildings that I need to put in because if I go this close to them, I'm kind of then screwed with what I can add so hopefully this is pretty much it. I I bet you guys are telling me like you're probably screaming you're like oh my god Pidger you haven't done this it's a disaster you're missing like the most important thing which you know possibility definitely a possibility I'm gonna lie Right, let's see about getting that staff path in and see if we can get that to work. I'll need to raise the height of that hedge I'm sure staff path. Right. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> so ugly. Um uh, 
distracted. Maybe it's too wide. No, it's the hedges, isn't it? It's the hedges. It's definitely the hedges. Um, how do I? Here we go. Let's just do that. I think it's because also this is um, not straight, so the path's going to have to come in at an angle, which. I'm not going to lie. It's not the prettiest thing to look at, is it? It's really, really not. Uh, also, why are some of these bits flat and then. Do you know what I'm thinking? I should have done. I should have put the path in first. That's what I should have done. I might play around with it later because I know that I could select them and move them all out and then put the path in and then move them back in. But just because. Oh, and like the way I've done the head. You know what? For now, let's just say that that's, that's okay and I'll play around with it offline and make it a little bit prettier because it's not, it's not great. Um, but I'll work on it and it'll, it will be, it will be fine. Um, yeah, <laughs> it will be fine. Anyway, let's... I still don't know if there is a button to select the whole um, like barrier or if you do have to actually do that and drag it around. I'm sure I'm sure you guys will let me know. Is there like four-ish? Yeah, that I think. That's cool. Right, I didn't ask for the help, but thanks. Uh, I might have actually accidentally clicked that little question mark but that's not the point yeah that's okay and i think if you're walking past that that's not too bad i mean again play around putting some decorations putting some trees and stuff will make it interesting okay i have staff now i'm probably gonna need power like you do get some power at the gate but i think we're far away far away enough <laughs> too far away to benefit from that so, temperature, power. Oh, oh, only just. Sick. <laughs> well, not really, I suppose. My my one, my one exhibit. See, if I'd have, I'd have been really sensible and put everything over here. But, you know what? It's fine, because the reason I've put everything over here is because I'm going to have an exhibit here what I'm thinking here is I'm going to do the thing with the pea fowls that I had before where it was like a, a walk-in enclosure so guests could actually walk around and there was like a little picnic area and you could sit down and eat but I'm going to have like a little bit different so what I'm thinking is like you'll be able to walk into the enclosure and there'll be like a little bit of a maze and then there'll be like a little seating area and then the whole thing, like the pea fowls will be able to walk around the whole thing. But it's also going to be smaller because the last time I did it, I made it too small. And then we'll have an actual enclosure here and probably one here. And that's why I want the staff buildings here because this is where all the animals are going to be. And if I had them over here, then it would be further for them to walk. So even though I'm going to have to put in some power, actually, it's not... It's not the worst idea. Um, but, 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 I don't think I put in a mechanics workshop. Did I? What have I? I've got quarantine, vet, marine surgery, staff. No, I've got a workshop. And I've got a trade centre. And I've got a research. Yeah, I've got everything. I don't know. I don't know what I'm worried about. Power. Power, 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 power. So we need to put in a transformer. Yeah, I guess. Because I'm going to want my enclosures to have power that I'll put it I'll put it back here and then we'll worry about how that looks and whatever another time because <laughs> I keep saying that like about everything but I'm just not gonna worry about how things look because why would I right there we go I have my little walking on like, what am I doing? What am I even saying? I've got my little walkway over the water, which 
we need to decorate but i am really really happy with how this turned out i think this is going to look really cool guys like i i'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm really pleased with that and then we're gonna have the area around here with like the shops and the welcome sign oh the welcome sign is gonna look really cool and then we've got our little exhibits and we've got our staff building so I am a little bit wary of how long this has gone on, so I kind of want to wrap this episode up. But first, <laughs> first, shall we maybe get some animals? So we need to get some animals for our exhibit because we can't play Planet Zoo and like not have any animals because, yeah, like what would we even be doing? So there's a whole tab for the exhibit trading. Oh, ugh, creepy crawlies. Um, <laughs> that actually makes me squirm. We're not having those. Uh, we we might have snakes. That's a possibility, especially as the the cash, which um, I'm pretty cheap actually. What are you? Well, I mean, I know what you are. You're a boa constrictor, but in terms like, are you good quality? Oh, and because it's paused, the countdown's not going. Oh. Well, hello, that's an idea. So if I pause it, I can actually have a look and I don't have to panic by animals. Is that, is that for real? Is that, but like it has the countdown on all of it. Wow, okay, you're expensive. Although to be fair, Carlos, you, you are gold. You are golden and you've got high fertility, high longevity, all good things. But I don't know if we want to spend that much money or we would maybe we'd be better off getting constant using our conservation points. Although oh no <laughs> no 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 we're not we're not having spiders and I don't, I don't even like looking at them. Let's um some of these are pretty cool. What have we got? Oh no, no, that's a spider. How did I <laughs> I didn't know that was a spider. I don't want to... <laughs> Why? Okay, well that's got a frog in it. That's definitely a frog. <gasps> okay, right. This. This is actually cute. I really like this. And we can get a gold one for like 200 bucks. I'm thinking we do that. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get me a, a poison frog. I think these are cute. I am going to put you in my exhibit and then I am going to get you a mate. Um, was that a guy or a few? Oh no. <laughs> I, I already don't know. Um, I can't actually see these tabs because of my little recording layover. If I'm just playing around, I can't. Where? There we go. Guy, Eduardo, Eduardo. Right, so Eduardo. It's a lady. Now, you are silver and you're pretty cheap. And your fertility's high. Longevity's a bit low. But maybe if we can get a gold one. Although it doesn't look like it. You know what? Actually, that's fine. We will get um, Mrs. Eduardo. Because I have no idea how to say that name. I think you guys know that uh, names really my forte okay so we can get the yellow anaconda we need to untick the frog or the iguana or the gyla monster i'm probably saying that wrong that's definitely a snake that's definitely a snake i don't have a problem with snakes it's just spiders i don't want spiders so we get the yellow anaconda snakes are kind of expensive expensive though about the iguanas there wasn't anything wow that's expensive I there wasn't anything that good but they're kind of pricey as well um oh you're really pricey um what about you like the common it's only one of you though i mean i could just get one I mean, I could. I mean, that's fine. But I could get a male and female here of these. They're not... Mm, they're a little bit expensive, though. Although, 
Am I right in thinking that higher value... Oh my god, Pitcher, get your words out. Am I right in thinking that higher value animals will be like better appreciated? We can unpause this as well, because we've got people coming. We'll get people walking in. Um, should I just do it? Should I just get the, the silver? I'm sure that's the same name as my frog. You know what, just do it. Just get the silver and the bronze of these and put them into the exhibit and you send to the and then what we'll do is we'll play around and get the habitats right so what i like to do with mine is oh, i'm gonna have to play around with how i've got my um recording things set up because i really can't see these tabs is so let's test so this one. I like to have the back window closed because then what you can do is you can put um, imagery on it. I'll give it like a 3D. You can see that one very well. But yeah, I just think that looks really cool. So we'll do that and we'll do the same with this one. Facade. That's it. Facade. I know it was written there, but I wanted to say that really incorrectly. Um, for those of you that are potentially new and don't know this, I am actually dyslexic, which is why I get a lot of uh, names and things a little bit incorrect every now and again. So yeah, apologies, but that that is just what it is. Oh, we've got people coming, we've got people coming. That is so exciting. <gasps> Oh, people are coming. Oh, 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 oh. I have forgotten the most important thing, and that is donation boxes. I've just realised as well that these should really be facing somewhere where people can see them. So, like, they should be here, but <laughs> donation boxes. We need donation boxes because donation boxes, that's how we make money around here. We be needing donation boxes. Donation boxes. And you know what? Even though there's no animals, oh, look how many people there are! Let's just throw a couple of donation boxes and you can just chuck some money in on the way out because you never know. <laughs> right, let's get back to the exhibits because we're going to need to make our animals comfortable. I'm just thinking, I've done the back wall because that's the one that I'm looking at, but maybe it should be that one because that's the one for that animals. I, I don't know let's see so we need to do some research oh my god I don't have any staff because <laughs> once we've got research we can get a re uh, oh my god I, I swear to god I, I have a glass of wine but I haven't had a single sip out of it I'm just drinking water but it doesn't sound like it I know but honestly anyway yeah, once we've got the research going, we can get the enrichment for the animals, not make them happier, and get the animal welfare up, so that is all good. Now, you need to get the temperature down. I'm not sure to what, but it's the right humidity, but it's only just the right humidity, so I feel like it could do with being a little more humid. I'm going to have to run that on to get the temperature to go down to see if that's anywhere near where you want it and then we'll check in with our anacondas as well oh you can see them that's really cool i feel like the frogs and things are a lot harder to see although there's maybe one there yeah cool that's a good temperature for you let's have a look at you temperature down and humidity again up just like a little bit I don't know how far temperature wise you want to go down. That's about as happy as we can make them, to be honest. Although, we should really get uh, some staff in just to take care of them. It's probably a really good idea, picture. I can't believe you didn't think to do that. Alright, let's get a keeper. And that didn't work, did it? <laughs> let's get a keeper. It's because I didn't put him on a path. And let's get a. Caretaker? No, I mean, well, I mean, probably, but uh, let's get a vet. Let's get a vet. There we go. I'll need other staff people to do things, but for now, 
Do we have any donations? <gasps> oh, I, <laughs> I got really excited and all I actually saw, I was like, oh my god, we got two dollars, but because <laughs> that was the last donation. <laughs> so I don't know why I was so excited. But we have $39 and oh, wow, $146. Okay, I feel like these guys, these guys were a good investment. So yeah, so the more expensive the animals are, the more money you get in donations, I guess. Um, what do you think? Do you like, do you like the exhibits? You need more education. I can actually have a look and see. Ticket price is great. It's scorching hot. Of course it is. It's the tropics. Ticket price is great. Is anyone like, oh my god, the animals are amazing. This is so cool. Like, no, not really. But throwing in money in the donation boxes. Wait, are you protesting? Why? Angry about low welfare. Some of your animals improve the caregiver to them. I mean... Okay. That's pretty severe. Why? Temperature. It's too hot, but I set the temperature. Oh. Oops, I'm sorry. I thought I set the temperature to in the green and I didn't actually check on it. There we go. I'm really, really sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Anaconda. I'm so sorry. Is that okay for you? No. Are you guys okay? Yeah, the social, moderate social issues. Why, have you had a baby already? No. So what is your social problem? I don't know. Yeah, you're not getting enough enrichment, but you know, until we do some research, that's just how that's gonna be. Is this right now? Yes, there we go, welfare up to 85%. Oh, okay, cool, we're doing okay, guys. <laughs> doing okay. Um, yeah. Oh, power is inaccessible. Oh, because I didn't... I didn't put a pass to it. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, yeah, that's... That's my bad. That's also... Apparently, that's a really... That's like... The wrong way around. Can you not spin these around? Really? That seems kind of counter-intuitive. Alright, well for now, fine. But surely I should have been able to... I clicked on that path to connect. Oh, that really annoys me. Paths are so fiddly. Anyway, right, we've got power. The animals are happy. We need to do some research. We will do that. I guess I need to remember where research is. Can you research my frogs, please? Okay, there we go. I started doing research. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Whew. Anyway, <laughs> well, I think I think I'm probably gonna leave this episode here because I'm kind of conscious of how how it's running. It. I'm getting so distracted. Why is the? Oh, okay. I'll look at that this time. It was like the little present. I was like, oh, did I get a gift? But no, it's just some challenges. So yeah, we're getting some <laughs> donations. Oh, oh, they're going up. Can we... No, I can't see the frogs. Maybe that's just me. I am sure they're in there. You definitely see the snakes though. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we're getting some donations. We've got some animals. I've got some ideas, which I've maybe not described to you in a terribly articulate manner, but I think I think you get the gist. No, we're not getting any donations because <laughs> they're not near any animals. That's what I thought. But hey. So yeah. That's go that's where we're gonna leave it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. What I'm gonna do next episode is I'm gonna pull in my pea fowl area. So we're gonna work on pulling like the walk-in enclosure. Um I'm gonna have a play around with doing like a little bit of a maze. And then we'll maybe, I'll have a think about what I want to do for decorations. I think this area could potentially be a little bit smaller. But we'll definitely work on animals. We want to see the animals, right? So we're going to put in um, the enclosure here. We'll put in some pea fowls. And I'm going to put in an enclosure here. And we'll have a think. Um, maybe you guys can let me know what animals you maybe want to see. Obviously nothing 
we can't start off with anything too expensive because we've only got a few conservation points. Oh my god, some of these are so expensive. But yeah, I'll actually I'll have a look around and see what animals I can get. But if there's anything that you particularly want to see, oh, I'm going to have to show you the pandas. We might have to go into the career mode next episode just to show you. Because, oh my god, they're friggin' adorable. Um, but yeah, if you have any ideas, anything you want to see, leave in the comments, let me know. Let me know what you think. I th I'll admit that building is quite clearly not my forte, but I've been thinking about this for a while and I've come up with some, what I think are some interesting, albeit not the most original ideas. And I think we could do something really cool and really interesting so let me know what you think about the things we've discussed so far whether you think they're good or bad or if you have any anything to add any other ideas just let me know because I love reading comments from you guys so yeah I, I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you can tell that I'm enjoying it I do very much like this game and um, I will try and get a new video out I don't want to make promises to you guys because it's a really busy time for me but I want to try and do a video sort of like once a week-ish I think that's not unreasonable and yeah so you know what I, I've rambled long enough I hope that you guys are enjoyed and I will see you again for a new video soon so so have a good evening or day wherever you are in the world and I will see you again soon take care bye